Hey guys, so Bullhorn Betty here covering the Idaho 4, uh, Moscow, Idaho. This is related to four university um, age students that were slain in their sleep on October 13th in the early morning hours between 4 and 425 in the morning. And we've all gone around and around about the 911 call and the um, unconscious person. I mean, we have really tried to figure this whole thing out for such a long time and never quite got clarification on what that call mean or meant, right? People were saying that Dylan, you know, passed out in the front yard. That was all speculative in nature. So I was on Reddit just trying to get some information related to this case, you know, just trying to um, get some different perspectives and look at what, you know, what is contained in in this case, is there something I'm not looking at? Is there something we should be talking about? And I came across this Reddit post and I want you to take a look in and listen to this and read it. it. It finally, finally gives us some perspective on that 911 call and the unconscious person. Take a look. So, hey guys, um, we have been going back and forth uh, about this 911 call uh, for some time related to the Idaho 4, that initial 911 call that came in at 11.58 in the morning, right before noon of an unconscious person. Um, and we all scratched our heads because this was the first uh, notification that we heard of sending officers to 1122 King Road, Moscow, Idaho, where they found four deceased victims inside that home on two of the levels of three. So they were on the second and third levels. Maddie Mogan and Kaylee Gonzalez was on the third level. Zana Kernodal and Ethan Chapin were on the second um, level. And many people know that it was Dylan's phone that was used to make that 911 call. So we were on here. This is from uh, any instructions 2141. Um, just uh, a speculation by this person saying interesting finding regarding the 911 call regarding the word unconscious. This is my first time posting, but I have been following the case and this thread since the beginning. I was watching true crime documentaries on a documentary on Discovery Plus called Real Life Nightmares, season three, episode five, murder at Chapel Hill. A murdered, uh, what does it say? A college student was found by her roommate being murdered. The reason I bring this up the roommate called 911, and on the recording, you hear the roommate crying and saying her roommate is unconscious and there's blood everywhere. She was already dead at the time, but the roommate said unconscious. I was always confused and curious about the Idaho 911 call and found this very interesting and thought I'd share. But what's more importantly um, is this Poke Life 90, uh, which I thought their response was really interesting and gives us a different perspective. Uh, this person uh, claims to be an EMT or used to be. So he says, I used to be an EMT, so I have some experience in this area. Think about it this way. In the medical community, being dead is a medical condition. Think of it like it's a diagnosis. A dispatch cannot declare someone dead. A paramedic, doctor, or nurse can only declare someone dead. Dispatch cannot diagnose someone. Even if the person called 911 saying they're dead, an unconscious person is the option the dispatch has to describe the possible death because they cannot diagnose someone with death. Also, dispatch stays on the line with the person who calls and continues to obtain information. The information can be relayed to EMS, police, fire, while they are en route. So there is much, much more to the 911 call and how dispatch handled it than we know. I thought this was a very interesting perspective. So now that you get to see this, uh, you know, at least a clarification from uh, somebody that used to be an EMT, it kind of does make sense when you're talking about um, death and murder and, and stuff like that. He is absolutely, I assume it was a he, is absolutely correct that 
death is a medical condition. And he was absolutely correct in uh, the information related to only certain people can diagnose death, EMT, doctor, nurse, uh, for the purposes of, you know, dead on arrival, you know, dead at the scene, stuff like of, of that nature. So um, I just think that this was finally some a little bit of clarification that we needed for that 911 call. It absolutely 100 makes sense, 100% makes sense for me. Um, and, and now gives us the clarification and hopefully closes that worry box that we had about that 911 call and how could they uh, talk about it, an unconscious person. Uh, when there's four dead people in the house, we all wrapped, could not wrap our head around it. It has been gnawing at me since the day this case was open. So tell me your thoughts. Does this make sense to you or do you still think there's more to that 911 uh, call? Um, I'm just interested in your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you really love the Bullhorn Betty channel, maybe consider becoming a member of the Coffee Club. God bless each and every one of you. Until next time, be safe.